Hey, George, we got a bit of a problem here, and you're the assistant state highway engineer. It's 12th November, 1970. Florence, Oregon. On the beach, very dead, a sperm whale. Eight tons of rotting carcass cast ashore. The perfume is definitely not Dior. Well, says George, burial's no good. The tide will work it straight out at the flood. So, boys, he says to his team, ain't nothing for it but to cut it up and carry it clean away. Not lightly, boss, the boys reply. We're not going near, it's putrefied. It's been dead for days, it's halfway to hell. We're keeping clear away from that awful smell. Hey, George, we got a bit of a problem here. And you're the assistant state highway engineer. So George had a think. Got a bright idea. Let's blow it up with dynamite. Everyone gave a cheer. Said George, if we use enough of the explosive stuff, the whole whale will disintegrate into bite-sized chunks for crabs and gulls. Boys, ladies and gentlemen, guys and dolls, the answer's on a plate. Hey, George, we've got a bit of a problem here, and you're the assistant state highways engineer. So George and his boys set the dynamite, 20 cases, half a ton, under the up beach side of the whale, with the expectation high that every little bit will fly into the rolling sea so they can sit on the beach breathing free while listening to the cacophony of gulls feeding out at sea. Upwind, spectators gather in great halls. There's lots of cameras clicking. And you guessed it. Some are sicking. Officials move the crowds a quarter of a mile away. But some daft sods decide to stay. Waiting for the magic sound of counting down. They join in the chorus. Till the plunger's pushed. Hey, George, we got a bit of a problem here, and you're the assistant state highway engineer. The gazing multitude with open mouths respond with oohs and ahs as whole whale fragments form a plume. One hundred feet of sperm whale meat, a mighty spume erupting in the sky. Then, suddenly, up went a shout. Watch out, watch out, it's raining, tons of blubber all about. Folk were running for their lives, escaping fast, the blubbery blast. For full five minutes, the blubber storm was at its height, coating everything and everywhere within a mile in stinking, vaporized whale oil. Hey, George, we got a bit of a problem here, and you're the assistant state highway engineer. One man's plight was worse. A quarter of a mile beyond the beach, he'd thought it out of reach, was parked Walter's Oldsmobile. The Oldsmobile roof was completely caved and covered by a blubbery slab five foot by four. 
Hey, George, we got a bit of a problem here. And you're the assistant state highway engineer. Back at the blast site, the girls had gone. The stench was worse, but there's got to be an end to this verse. So, all else I'll say is that although George moved on, whenever he picks up the telephone, in the background he still hears a cry of girls and a windy moan. And a ghostly voice. Hey, George, we got a bit of a problem here. And you're the assistant state highways engineer.